everyone. Today I'm coming to you with a overview sort of review of a new palette from the Lauren Mercier Spring Collection. I am wearing a look from it and there will be a tutorial on it so no fear, no fret. It will be posted after this video so if you're looking for this tutorial which is a crazy intense smoky purple eye, the pinky cheek and some sparkly lips, then um, you'll want to check this out the day after this tutorial is posted. So I'm, I will post this or not tutorial, sorry, overview. I'll post this overview on Monday and Tuesday this tutorial should be up. So you should check that out if you want to know how to do that. And the product I'm going to be doing an overview of, it's the Laura Mercier Spring Collection. I picked up a few items. I picked up first the palette. And the palette looks like this. It has a nice little mirror. And then it has four eyeshadows and two blushes, or a blush and a highlight color. And the blush is called Persian Rose and it's actually on my cheeks right now. It is a pinky corally color. It's really fun, very springy. And then Golden Sands, which is this sort of shimmery champagne color. I'm gonna swatch all of these as well, and there will be photos of swatches on my blog at bayaliberté.com. And then this color called Lavender Silk, which was the color I was most iffy about in the collection and I think is actually very gorgeous. All these colors have some shimmer in them or um, metallic like effect. Um, this one's called Lavender Silk, that light purple, and then the next one is called Regal Violet and this is the color that's mainly responsible for my smoky smoky eye. The deep purple in the bottom of the eye is this Regal Violet and it is a beautiful violet with a sparkle in it. And then Rare Taupe which is an all around everyone must have color. It's a taupe color that I think you could wear to work, you could wear to school, you could wear anywhere and always look chic. Taupe is very in and it's a shimmery taupe color. And then last is Palace Pink which is a highlight color. And I actually have that on the top of my cheek right now. It adds the most gorgeous highlight ever. And actually in the tutorial that I that I did uh, for this look, I used tried to use as many Laura Mercier products as I could because I think that Laura Mercier makes fantastic products and this is nothing short of fantastic as well. Let me go ahead and swatch some of these for you. Um, so Persian Rose, which is the blush, looks like this with like a strong swatch. So that's Persian Rose. It's a bright, bright pink. You, I, you have to kind of use a light hand if you don't want a super pink cheek. And then Golden Sands, which I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this one because it is quite light and shimmery. It's got a lot of gold shimmer through it, but it's kind of like a, a skin cone, tone colored. It has a little pink in it. I don't know if, how well you guys can see that. There will be swatches of this on my blog, so check out the pictures there if you can't see them in this video, which I don't know how well you can see that, that uh, swatch. The next one is Rare Taupe or not rare taupe, but I'm swatching rare taupe next. <laughs> and it looks like this. It is that taupey brown color. It's gorgeous. If you're looking for a taupe color, check this one out. Um, and then lavender silk, which is this light purple. And at first I thought it was matte, but it's not. It's got a little shimmer in it. It's gorgeous as well. And then finally, Regal Violet, which shouldn't have any trouble seeing. It's got a lot of sparkle in it. And it almost looks black on camera, but it is purple. It is very purple. And then finally, Palace Pink, which is a highlight, and I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but it's on the bottom there, right there. So hopefully you guys can see that. I think the one you're going to have the most difficulty seeing is the golden sands because it's got gold in it, but it's like the color of my skin. So <laughs> kind of hard to see. So those are the colors that are included in this palette. And this palette was $48, but it's really handy. It's really nice. It's very compact. It has a nice magnetic clasp, and it also has a nice big mirror for checking things out. The only bad thing I don't like about this palette is the fact that that it's made out of material. It's going to get very dirty very quickly. You can already tell on the back especially. It's got a lot of, I 
just opened this palette and it's got already eyeshadow and sparkles and everything on it. So I don't like that about this palette. But other than that, I love how compact it is. I love that you can take it on you with the go, in the go. I love that you can take it with you on the go. I love that it will fit in your purse and not like create a mess. Um, I think it's probably pretty durable. It is a plastic casing on the bottom and this is plastic as well underneath the material. And the mirror is a good size. So I like that about it. I also purchased um, this lip gloss from Laura Mercier. It's called Ruby Glaze and this is gorgeous. It's not on my lips right now because I was scared it would be too much with these eyes but it looks like it it's a pinky color and it's got a pinky red color and it's got gold shimmer shot through it so let me go ahead and swatch that for you. I'm going to swatch it above the um, blush that I swatched and here it is it's gorgeous. Um, it's a plumper as well, so it has sort of like a mintiness to it as well, not too overpowering minty, and it's got the most amazing feeling and texture. It is not sticky, it is not goopy, it is soft and smooth, and it smells sort of like, I don't even know, it's like citrusy, orangey sort of smelling. And like I said, it has a lip plumper in it, and it's just this gorgeous, very pigmented gloss. And I'm not a big gloss fan. As many of you know, I'm a big lipstick fan. I love lipstick. I don't buy a lot of glosses. But this one is just gorgeous, and it's so smooth on the lips, and I just love it. One downside to the Laura Mercier products is I do not like the price of the lip gloss. I feel that for a lip gloss, this color should have been priced more around $20 instead of $30 because for $30 I could have gotten a Chanel lipstick and instead I got a lip plumper gloss. To me glosses aren't worth $30 so that is a negative for me on the Laura Mercier side but I really wanted this gloss so I bought it even though it was worth $30 but just an FYI one of the cons I think to this collection or rather to Laura Mercier lip glosses in general is that they're pretty pricey for what you get. I mean, this is a lip gloss, although it is highly pigmented and I wouldn't have to wear a lipstick under it and I probably would never wear a lipstick under it. I feel that lipsticks tend to last me a lot longer than lip glosses and I think that's because lip glosses, for sanitary purposes, you're always pulling them out, putting them back in, putting it on, applying it on your lips, putting it back into the tube and eventually, for sanitary reasons, it gets nasty in there and you have to throw your lip glosses away. Whereas I feel like lipsticks, if some, if you're worried about bacteria and stuff like that, you can clean the lipstick and you can even cut off a portion of the lipstick if it gets really gnarly. Um, and, you know, unearth a, a portion of the lipstick that hasn't been touched from bacteria and stuff like that and from your lips and constant application. Whereas lip glosses aren't like that, especially not when they're in this tube form. So that was a con to me for this Laura Mercier lip gloss because I think for $30, um, you should get something probably with a little more product too. This this only has, uh, let's see, 0.16 ounces of lip gloss. Just to compare, this was $30 and this was $18. This is the Kissable Lip Color from MAC. And this is 0.17 ounces. So this is 0.18, which is 0.01 ounce more, but it's almost, what? A third more of the price. This was $18 and this was $30. That's kind of a bummer in my opinion. So just in general think about those sort of things when you go to buy products. You can get a lot more for your money if you buy a brand that's a little bit more affordable um, and you can still get a really nice product. I love these kissable lip colors from MAC and I love this lip gloss but I feel like $30 is kind of steep. That's just my opinion. Okay, there are a few products from the Laura Mercier uh, Silk Road collection, which is their spring collection, that I didn't purchase. And I'm going to go over really quickly why I didn't purchase those items. Um, I did buy the Eye and Cheek palette, obviously, because I just showed it to you. And then I did buy one of the lip plumpers. Um, there was also two other lip plumpers. One was a peachy color, and one was, let's see, um, there was some different colors. It was a peachy one and then like a bronzy one if I remember correctly or something like that or a light light one. The reason I didn't buy those was the peachy one was really nude on the lips and again for $30 I think it's kind of a waste of money to buy a lip gloss that you can dupe easily from um, another brand. So I didn't buy that lip gloss 
either of those because those were quite light on my skin. One was peach and one was kind of a nudish sparkle, actually, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was just sparkly. And I don't really understand the point of just buying a sparkly clear lip gloss for like $30. It doesn't make any sense to me. But, you know, I'm not a big lip gloss person. If that's what you like to do, then cool for you. Um, then also there were three lipsticks, I believe. And the reason I didn't purchase the lipsticks was they were really pretty, but um, I have a lot of lipsticks, and the colors I was drawn to were, like, the more red colors. And I really thought this lip gloss was a lot more unique than any of the lipsticks that they had. So I decided instead of getting, like, a nude lipstick or um, one of the, like, more corally red ones, I just decided to get the lip gloss because it had a lip plumper in it. And I thought that was kind of a nice feature, and it had a nice sparkle, and I don't have a lot of lip glosses, so... Um, also, there was uh, the iBasics, which I really love. The iBasic I do have, it's called Cotton, and I love Laura Mercier ones. I just, I mean, I'm happy with all the sort of primers and bases I have right now with my eyes. If I was, like, looking for a new one or if I wanted to try a new one out, I'd definitely try out the Laura Mercier ones. They're really nice. I just wasn't in the mood for one of those. I was looking more for color and fun when I was at the store, so... Um, there was also some eyeliners. Uh, again, I don't really need any eyeliners. I have plenty of great eyeliners. Um, this is like my eyeliner sort of collection. Oh, this is a mascara. There's my Dior mascara. <laughs> this is my like eyeliner collection. So I have plenty of eyeliners to play with and try out. So I didn't really, wasn't really in the mood to try something new um, for eyeliners. There was also a few brushes that they had for sale. Um, and they were nice brushes, but I just got a lot of new brushes in, so I didn't really want to spend the money there either. And then they had a mascara and a eye liquid eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner, I actually could use a new one of those, but I just didn't opt to get the Laura Mercier one. I, like I said, was really in the mood for color. And mascaras, I have, I mean, these are mascaras I have right here that I haven't even used. So, are used, but, you know, are still in the process of trying to use out. So I don't need another mascara. So that's kind of like my reasoning and thought process behind purchasing what I did from the Laura Mercier collection. These two products I think are gorgeous. If you're quite fair, I wouldn't go necessarily for this ruby glaze color um, because this one is quite bright. I think it would look better on medium to dark skin tones. I am a light medium shade. Um, and then this palette I think would look great on any skin tone. I'd be careful with the pink blush because it is quite vibrant. I'd use a light hand if I was a light skinned person, lighter toned skin. Um, and then if you have deeper sc uh, skin tones, I think this color would look gorgeous. Uh, however, if you have deeper skin tones, I'd be careful with the palace pink because I think it could go kind of glitter gasmness on your cheek. <laughs> it could look a little ashy too, um, depending on how deep the skin tone was. However, uh, that, you'd have to be pretty deep skin tone to have a pretty deep skin tone to make it go that ashy. Um, all these colors are great. I think they're fabulous. I think they're pretty universal. The color I worried the most about was the lavender silk color, and it's actually very beautiful and swatches very nicely on the skin. And I'll probably be using it in my next tutorial for this palette. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope you found it interesting, and I hope that it'll help you make some decisions if you are looking at the Laura Mercier palette. Um, and if you are considering purchasing any of the items, um, I hope you'll keep in mind the price point as well. The palette itself was $48. The lip gloss was $30. Again, going to say it again, I think the lip gloss is kind of overpriced. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye, guys.